We would not have you ignorant, brothers and sisters, concerning those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, so you have sorrow now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. Behold, I am coming soon. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. When Brenda was a baby, her parents took her to Grace United Church of Christ and there baptized her in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Throughout her days as a follower of Christ, when we would gather for Ash Wednesday, she received the imposition of ashes and was reminded from dust she came and to dust she shall return. And so it is fitting as we commit her body back to the earth that we do it in the same way form, this time using sand. Eternal God, who breathed into lifeless dust and brought forth Adam and Eve in your image, we return to the earth, the breathless body of your servant, Brenda Helen Fatzinger Horn, believing that as you raised Jesus Christ from death, you will breathe life into us again so that we may live with you forever in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I would invite you now to share in the words that we find in Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let us pray. Holy and gracious one, I ask that you might sanctify this ground, that it might be to the family and friends of Brenda a treasured place that they might remember and recall the love they share. Holy one, I pray that you continue to remind us of your presence and everlasting love and that you let your compassion pour forth for Blaine, for Michelle and Michael, for their families. I pray that those who have gathered in this cemetery might continue to be mindful of this family, that in the days to come and as the weeks unfold, 
they might continue to reach out in love and support and be reminded that you are there for them as we are there for one another. Holy One, we ask these prayers that they might be a blessing to all who mourn and for those who place their hope in your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God our Heavenly Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen.